We got a breaking story on XRP. Coinbase has entered the arena. Now, if you haven't already, you need to follow Eleanor Tourette on X or whatever social media. She is a Fox News business consultant. Let's talk about what happened right now. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the, hit the like button. You know what to do. Let's kick it off. First, we're going to talk about it and why it matters. Uh, there was a letter submitted on appeal to Judge Fayala from the case going on with Coinbase. And what they have said was this appeal by the SEC confirms that there is confusion about the application of the Howey test and that the Howey test is not clear and not clear enough to apply to digital assets. And basically what they're saying is the SEC is so dumb that they shot themselves in the foot by appealing something that was already clarified. So this is going to get really ugly, possibly, for the SEC. Now, uh, this says that on October 2nd, following entry of final judgment on August 7th, the SEC filed a notice of appeal. Uh, the second court, therefore, will now review Ripple's application of Howey, and in particular, Ripple's court conclusion that blind bid-ass digital asset transactions by an issuer over secondary exchanges were not investment contracts because they lack certain features inherent in the contractual undertakings that Coinbase maintains is required by Howie. Although the SEC disputes it, the resolution of the principal issue likely to be raised on appeal in Ripple should entail full consideration of the foundational question of law presented by this court's March 27 order, where other, whether some obligation past the point of sale is required for any secondary market transaction uh, to involve an investment contract, which of course the SEC is saying that everything is a security because what they want is control of cryptocurrency and they want it to be controlled by banks. Don't kid yourself about what it, what the purpose is. Now, what does this mean? It means that what they're saying, basically, and what Annalisa Torres was saying, really, and what they're arguing here is the programmatic sale of XRP, meaning the sale from XRP to other people, and it creates an investment contract and is a security under the Howey test. Annalisa Torres said, when it comes to retail consumers, that is not the case, only for businesses. Now, from that, we take it a step further, and Coinbase is saying no matter what, whether they sell to an institution or anybody after this point, secondary sales are not security. So if Coinbase is selling you XRP, this is not a security. It's not a bundled contract. It's, it's nothing like that. So Coinbase is not selling you securities in any way or on any of their cryptos because they're secondary sales. That is why the SEC is doing this because they believe that this is erroneous and they can't appeal this. They have to do the programmatic moves here concerning retail. So what they've done is the SEC in this whole thing has blocked themselves into this wild sort of situation and Coinbase is now able to say the SEC has conceded and now reconfirms by its appeal in Ripple that the issues presented by Howey's application of secondary market digital asset transactions are of industry-wide significance. So now um, they need a prompt and complete appellate review. What does that all mean? It means XRP is going to win at this point. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, if that's the case, why would everybody dump? Well, because people are reactionary. Let's go look at one of the things that happened and one of the things that didn't happen. So, Dark Defender said he can't understand the fear. Why are people dumping? SEC did not appeal the non-security decision. They appealed the penalty amount. They, Ripple pays $125 million in penalties, uh, and then Ripple pays $133 million. Or 33, $333 million. So, Ripple has already won. Don't get distracted. Well, that's not exactly true. Mark Fagel, who is a retired securities lawyer, says the SEC is appealing the ruling that programmatic sales were not securities sales. Now, again, this comes down to in the beginning of XRP, when XRP sold to retail and they sold to businesses, the business transactions were considered securities. That's why Ripple has to pay a penalty. But sales to individuals, retail investors, is not considered a security because it is not an investment contract. And, and, and the SEC is saying that that is the case and that's what they're appealing. Now, Bassey then says that's not true. They have appealed the final judgment, which includes the classification of XRP as a non-security for third-party sales. However, until the court has ruled again, the final judgment is still intact. So now they're asking for that appeal, right? Now, if you go into this article, and I'll put a link in the description down below for you to go look at it, and you can see a lot of comments about it. A lot of people have a lot of opinion. Now, 
What does that leave us? Well, come over here and Bill Morgan has clarified that the SEC's appeal targets Ripple's programmatic sales, not secondary market sales as in by individual holders. So again, this means that what they're saying is they're not appealing the fact that Coinbase is uh, able to do in secondary market sales uh, securities. They're, they're not disputing that. That means that the Coinbase lawsuit has to be dropped under current law. That's what this means. And that is a win for XRP. That's a win for Coinbase. That's a win for crypto. End of story right here. Now let's get back into what matters. This is where it gets intriguing. In a post on XR on, on X, Morgan explained that Judge Annalisa Torres did not rule on secondary sales of XRP, which involved transactions made by individuals on exchanges, such as retail investors trading XRP. The ruling only applies to Ripple's original sale, the programmatic sale of XRP, where Ripple used the automated processes to sell the cryptocurrency on the open market. This was their original sell-off. Okay, that's what this is. This is basically the, the pre-sale or the original selling of XRP to people. Now, Morgan emphasized that secondary sales were not part of the original ruling and cannot be appealed, which means that we now have settled law in that doing business on an exchange makes it a commodity, not a security. End of story. Now, for that, per for that portion, by and in and of itself, that means that XRP is a commodity. End of story. That's the end. The only question now becomes whether or not the the original sale was a security and in so much as it may have been a security, what penalty should Ripple Labs be forced to pay? Because remember, they're trying to apply disgorgement, but Ripple is in a profit ultimately from the original sale. So there is no disgorgement. There is no loss. So the, the SEC is appealing based on uh, this, this the, based on clarity and that they say that the Howey test is enough. But at the same time, the fact that they appealed means that they understand the Howey test is not enough. So this is going to be very interesting. And look, there is no path forward for the SEC. The SEC is not going to win this uh, on appeal. They, they don't really have a path forward. They have already lost to cryptocurrency. So this is great news. Now, that doesn't mean that XRP might not have to pay a bigger or stiffer penalty, but it does mean that we have clarity in the market in many different ways. And we're getting close to an election in which the people who are attacking cryptocurrency uh, specifically will be removed from office very, very shortly. So this is a, this is probably not even going to end up in court. This appeal probably going to be withdrawn at some point. Now let's look at price action. All right, guys, so we're still in this channel. We had a dump from, let's call it around 65 cents back down to around 52 cents as people got uh, a little bit nervous about what was going on. So what then happened? Well, we've got a spike right here and a reversal, which means that we found our bottom over here and it's right in line with where we were just a few short months ago. So what does that mean? It means that the healing process can now begin anew. And I do suspect that we're probably going to come back up into the 60 cent range on an impulse very soon as we start getting closer to the election and we have a little bit more clarity in the market. And then I would suspect that once we start to see the lay of the land, uh, especially if he who shall be nameless becomes president, then I think you're going to see this thing absolutely break out. And the next step on this probably coming up into some really big ranges. And by that, I mean, we're talking about $2.50. We're talking about $15 uh, ripple. We're talking about a really big move getting ready to happen on this product. Now, this is delayed. It's delayed because of the lawsuit, but it will not last. XRP is getting ready for a massive breakout. This consolidation has come through. It's, it's, it's in this channel, but the market, the market will not be held down any longer. I would think in fact that we are probably headed to a dollar a dollar to a dollar twenty-five in very short order. I think that people are going to look at this. They're going to see that there's no path forward for the SEC. They're going to agree with this, and they're going to see the law of the land is changing. In that, whether uh, whether the the girl or the guy becomes president, either way, the laws are about to change. There's going to be some mass adoption, and everything is about to change fundamentally. So let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. 
hold your XRP. You're about to be rewarded greatly because it is about to get explosive here. So uh, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to check me out. I, I do think that we are on the road to a massive move. And this, this whole thing right here is just the start of mass adoption for cryptocurrency. Even though it doesn't look like it today, it is the start of mass adoption for cryptocurrency in the United States. From now until November 1st, if you make a deposit of $1,000 at cryptonomy.finance, you will get a random bonus of between 50 and $5,000. Also guys, if you have anything that you don't understand about cryptonomy, then I do special research articles on this platform. So if you are interested, you can come check them out. And if you have a question about any of these projects, then there is an opportunity here for you to learn about some of the cryptocurrencies, especially Aerodrome or Carve or something like that. You know, I've got a lot of staking going on right here. I've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether all coming up to be unstaked very, very shortly. So join me in this, reap the rewards like I'm reaping. And folks, don't forget, not only is Cryptonomy a robust staking platform, but it's also a venture fund. So if you want to apply, you can do that in the research section. Apply today.